Hello everyone. In this lecture video, I want to briefly introduce the notion or the concept of inductive argument, uh, but I will have more detailed lectures on different types of inductive arguments uh, in future videos. So as you will recall from previous modules, uh, we've studied deductive arguments. Now deductive arguments, if the premises are true, the conclusion um, is guaranteed or proven. Now deductive arguments are beneficial for analyzing the ordinary language. And by that, I mean you know, English or Spanish. Deductive arguments will enable you to think clearly, precisely, conceptually, and abstractly. Deductive arguments will enable you to write clearly and precisely, and these things are very helpful and useful skills to develop in college. And finally, deductive arguments give us certainty, but generally no new knowledge. Now, inductive arguments are a little bit different. But before I introduce the notion, um, inductive arguments are familiar. So let's say you want to choose between two Marvel movies, Avenger movies, as you can see, or you want to decide between two hamburger restaurants. And there, implicitly, we use a sort of inductive argument to figure that out. Inductive arguments, uh, unlike deductive arguments, give us new knowledge, but they do not guarantee certainty. Deductive arguments are useful in the sciences, both natural and social, and other domains of knowledge, whether history, philosophy, or English. Now, inductive arguments give us predictive capacity, meaning that we can, we know that the future events are going to happen and they will resemble the past. Now, inductive arguments, uh, the premises of an inductive argument, if true, support the conclusion. The more likely they, meaning the premises, make the conclusion true, the stronger the argument. The less likely they the premises make the conclusion true, the weaker the argument. In this module, we want to study three different types of inductive argument. The first we're going to study is enumerative induction. The second, analogical induction. And finally, causal induction. Now, these three different types of induction or inductive argument that uses inductive logic and reasoning are all inductive arguments but they have very different structure and really different ways to analyze and evaluate them so after this you can move on to the enumerative induction video